It seems to me, uh, maybe I'm just thinking about it in a really dumb, simplistic way, but I keep wondering to myself, and I haven't heard anyone ask Pete Buttigieg this, what qualifies this man to be president of the United States? I, I, don't, I don't ask that uh, in a condescending way. I say, what's some big thing he's done? Because I've been here for 24 hours, and he's a dime a dozen. This is dime a dozen gentrification. It's nothing special. It's destructive. But they say he's so, uh, intellectual, data-driven, all this. He's created traffic jams here. He's, he's created soaring rent prices uh crime i believe is up 40 percent year over year and we had a black captain the crime was down they got rid of him crime went straight back up because he they get money off crime tell me about that what i mean by that more people you get locked up more money they get paid you know what i'm saying more crime get done more money they get paid you know what i'm saying it's the roads i mean they get more money to pay for this and pay for that, but it's not paying for the community. It's not going back in our community. If you give these people something to do, you got all these big old abandoned buildings around here. You used to say you got all this homeless. It's a lot of these brothers and sisters out here, you know, who know how to do this type of work. Give them, give them some work to do. Let them fix it up. Let them leave there. Then they get an opportunity to go do something in our community. They say, they bring up this one little situation I've been talking about for the longest. You got all these brothers and sisters coming out of the gentry. They talk about what they gonna do when they get out. Where they gonna go? Where they gonna work at? When they go fill the application, first thing on the application, you ever been incarcerated? You put yeah, guess what, you think you're getting a job? No, you lie, you still ain't get a job because when they find out, you're fired. I mean, what other choices young men has got to do to survive? Like I said earlier in this conversation, you can't keep on pushing a person in the corner. And they know this from history after history after history. Sooner or later, they're going to rise up. And that's not good. But it's a unified thing here in South Bend. That's something people ain't normally know, used to see. If this ain't black, if this ain't white, if this ain't Puerto Rican, this is a unified group fighting this battle. Because if you don't have money here, you don't have no say so. If you ain't getting paid by the people up here, because this is like you, if you worked here, you can be doing what you're doing right now. Because they'll blackball you. They don't want you telling the truth. Well, you actually told me before we went live that I was in shock because, um, for those that don't know, uh, we got here yesterday, and I don't know, within like two, three hours, I got a tip that while the South Bend police were arresting a young black man, the young black man very smartly live-streamed his arrest, knowing that something was probably going to happen. Uh, the police thought that they had shut it off. Uh, what they really did was just turn the phone around. It went on black, but the audio was still running. And these cops basically were joking and playing out a scene from Django Unchained. Uh -huh. If you've never seen it, it's that Quentin Tarantino yeah. shootout, bloodbath. You know, Tarantino always, it's bloody. Uh, but during that movie, there was a scene where the Klansmen, the KKK, are marching to lynch yeah. Jamie Foxx, uh, Django, uh -huh. and whatever, they're arguing because they're, 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 their, hoods, their hoods don't fit. Right. So, yeah, these cops were mimicking that. So I'm thinking to myself, granted, we broke the story at the exact 10, within 10 minutes of us breaking this story, Donald Trump was impeached, so it didn't get a lot of play. But I'm thinking the next day, yeah, the media here has to pick that up. That's outlandish. Pick it up. But you tell me there's a reason the media doesn't pick up anything here. They don't want no publicity right now on our mayor. And to me, our mayor ain't nothing but another man. He, had a, he should have been fighting on our side. But people don't fight on the side, they know it's gonna bring attention to the black community. Cause the only thing they wanna have is negative. All they shooting, they selling dope, they doing this. Why is they doing that? And ain't nobody in the black community own no boats or no airplanes. Never have. Tell me how's it getting here? How's it getting out? Well, y'all wanna do some homework? 
Let's go back into the police who were selling drugs in the community. Y'all would do some homework on that? Do homework on that. It was police taking, police was taking drugs and giving it to the people in the community, have them selling it for them. Right on the South End Police Force. A lot of them got killed, a lot of them lost their job. Woo -woo -woo. But you don't hear it all about that. You know what I've heard about? I'm sure you would know something about this. Not all, you know, Pete Buttigieg is running that, oh, these people in Washington, we need an outsider. We don't, want, we don't want to do things the corrupt way it's done in Washington. Well, I hear there's a lot of corruption here. I also hear there's been kickbacks between city officials under Buttigieg, police, uh, and frankly, I don't want to offend, but the black leaders that have come out in support of Buttigieg, I believe, got significant funds yes, from did. Mayor Buttigieg. Say that. Yes, they did. Because we was at the little meeting, you dig what I'm saying, on uh, Lincoln Way. We went to it just to hear what they were going to say. And like I told him, y'all is not my black leaders. How is y'all my black leaders? And all y'all get paid from him. That means, who is y'all really speaking for? Y'all is not speaking for the community. And they're not speaking for the community. The community, community need help. And y'all not giving, because every single one of y'all getting a fat check. If you're getting a check, you're going to say whatever that man wants you to say. Okay, if, why he didn't show up? Why he didn't come to the time? It's for him. They were trying to make it look like he had a lot of black people backing him, but he didn't. The people there were the council people. Um, people getting paid by him. Then they family members. That means it wasn't, they invited four family members. You bought, you invited four of your family members. They invited five of their family members to make it look like it's, but half of them weren't even there to vote for him. They just make it look good because they get paid to come. When is that going to stop? Just like right now, the reason the world is not found out about my brother's death is because they're trying to wait to ask for this race to come out with it, to ask he walking. Well, why is the media so intent on protecting him? Is, is it to keep access to him and his administration? <coughs> I think it is. They just don't want no more publicity. They're trying to keep it quiet. Cause but they, the media's job is to not be quiet. A real media, thanks. real journalist's job is to be loud, to hold power to account, to expose corruption, not to basically be your glorified public relations person. You understand where you at? South Bend City. You in Cuckoo Clanville, and half of the clan run everything here, and they've been doing it from the police on up to the top people. They smile in your face, but they don't get that pencil. Look how much money the man, they, they sit back here and raise for this man when he got to kill my brother. I mean, they, they put out a fund. It was from the Ku Klux Klan. The Ku Klux Klan put out a fund for Pete Buttigieg? No, for the police officer who killed my brother. But we know all that, what's going on with that. You go to Mr. Walker? No, Mr. Walker is too lame for a black man. But that's why he can go there and sign up for the police force over there, because they love that. He's been beating black people up, and like say, as he's seen me and her together, he'll pull us over. You know, I want to ask you, and I know you can't, like, get into the white man's mind, but I want you to speak directly to the white voter in Iowa, the white voter in New Hampshire, because I think Pete Buttigieg has kind of duped them, too, into thinking he's going to help them. He's certainly going to help white people more than black people, but in terms of working people, because he don't care nothing about you. Hey, a lot, a lot of the, a lot of the workers in the factories and this and that, white, black. Mm -hmm. I think he's convinced quite a bit of them in Iowa that he's some new, um, articulate, <coughs> a contrast to Trump. But um, I forget her name. A, a really, really smart woman on a call today with the Black Lives Matter said, "Yeah, yeah, Pete." Is be, you know, he's certainly lower key than the crazy racism of Trump, but Pete's just a more vanilla flavor of racism. He'd be very smart with it. He chooses stuff very wisely. See, one thing about I learned in my time now is when you're trying to do the people, just like Trump did, you give them what they want to hear. That's how they vote for you. This is what they want to hear. This is what they want to believe. Cause this how this world been going for so long. I'm going to help y'all get jobs. I'm going. My thing is, 
what will you help getting jobs? Because you did not start coming in our community until my brother got killed. Never was in the community. Never talked to nobody. Never been to the King Center. Never been on Johnson Street. Never been in the hood. As soon as my brother get killed, since he's running for president, all of a sudden now you want to come in the neighborhood like you really care. No, he had his own people start sitting back here bashing him. Own police force bashing him. I was like, he went against them because he was running for president. And everywhere he went, I came. Because the simple fact is, I just want you to look me in my eye and tell me why you're doing the things you're doing. Now you want to keep, you want to get something else real? Like I tell you, I don't care. I've been 52 all my life. The captain has been my friend. Now I came to him, I put my arms around him at the police station. I said, listen, I just want you to do your job. If you believe right is right, do your job. He let me down as a man. He let me down personal because you're not doing your job. All this, Y'all let all this stuff get quiet where the world thinking there's nothing going on because that's how they do it. Then they don't come out. You know, after this race, so I, well, like I told you, well, we couldn't find evidence the victim for. That means a man just died for no reason. And we waited all this time for y'all to tell us something y'all could have told us six months ago. Because in the black culture, do you think we believe they finna say this man was guilty? You know, I'd love to know what would happen if a black officer shot a white banker at 3.30 in the morning without his body camera on. Uh, locked up. Locked up right now. In jail. And been evicted already. He's been evicted, charged, and everything. We know that. This is what I've been saying since my brother got killed. If the shoe was on the other foot, y'all already know what would have happened. But since it's the officer, white officer, and everybody doing everything they're doing, but I'd be very careful about certain things I say because it's like I don't want people to think I'm trying to say I'm trying to start something. I'm not, I don't have to start nothing. Y'all already started it. I'm going to walk. I don't drive. Y'all pull me over, take me to jail, beat me, kill me. Everybody already know what happened. My moms didn't know what happened. I'm not going to bite my tongue. I told people until the day I die, I don't talk about this subject. Y'all wrong. And everyone's waving loose. Do the right thing. That's all I've been asking. I've been peaceful about the situation. You know, yes, I got mad because this wrong. A man shouldn't die over breaking in a car. They had a man over here on Mr. Walker with an AK and a 9 millimeter with a sign up in the middle of the corner. So I got the right to buy arms. Now, that was a black man on that corner doing that. They would have pulled up and shot him. They wouldn't have talked to him. But did it come on the news? Did the news show it? No, it had to go on. People had to post it off on Facebook. Why are you watch the news and report that? Because it was a white man. It was not a black man. Not a black man. They were blasted all over TV. So he tried to reach for his gun. That's the reason we shot him. But the only way we found out about it, because somebody with their cell phone videotaped the whole thing. The news didn't even report it. Why? Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you. <laughs>